Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. First and foremost, today is a very special day. Love My Poland has just turned three years old. The time has really gone by so quickly and it's been a blast to make this channel. I want to give you a huge thank you to all my nearly 50,000 subscribers out there. You are so highly appreciated. Thank you. Anyways, if you aren't already aware, my name is Russell. I'm an American and I've been teaching English in Poland for goodness, over 20 years now. I have my own English school called BASE English. It's an acronym for Business and Social English. Those are really the two areas where I teach. And I teach through conversation and I do a bit of proofreading on the side. And if you were to ask me what I love most about my job, I would tell you it's seeing my motivational students make rapid progress in their English and I enjoy getting to share some of their personal successes with them. In other words, their success is a bit of my success. Today's episode is directed to my Polish audience out there and any students of English in particular. You know, over all these years, I've kept kind of a mental list of words that give my students a really hard time pronunciation-wise. And I've got 12 golden ones today for you I'd like to share with you. I'm going to be going to various places in my city of Częstochowa to kind of sort of illustrate the words and hopefully it'll help it kind of associate and stick. So just to be sure, in no way before I start this am I criticizing, ridiculing anyone out there. That's not me. This episode is all about helping somebody in my audience possibly improve their English by watching this episode. Let's get out there. I'm going on my bike. I'm going to go all over the city. Let's do it. All right, for our very first word today, the building behind me is my school. This is my workplace and you will find me coming early in the morning, 6.30, 7 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday, to teach wonderful students right here. And that is our first word today, early. I hear a lot of my students pronounce it incorrectly. They say early or early, some strange version of that word, but it's really just early, early. Just make it soft, make that R soft, early. So early is our first word. Let's go to the second one. All right, I'm in my classroom right now and the second word we're going to talk about is the word comfortable. I hear it all the time as comfortable, comfortable. There's no table in comfortable. Uh, this is a very comfortable classroom. I've got these kind of armchair bar stools, I guess. My students love them. They are quite up high. That means that I can stand during my lesson. It's unhealthy to sit all the time. So we are very comfortable in the classroom. So one more time, not comfortable, but comfortable. I see it as three syllables as a native. Comfortable, comfortable. Well, for the third and fourth word today, we're at my favorite restaurant in Częstochowa called Gospoda Kwasznica. Gospoda Kwasznica is a restaurant that serves food from the mountain regions, the Highlander style food. It is delicious. Everything in this restaurant is yummy. And my favorite dish here is Kwasznica soup. It is, I'll just let you Google Kwasznica soup. I'll put some information in the description about what that is. But uh, the word is soup. The, the third word is soup. I hear so many times, zup. I guess it just comes from the Polish word zupa, but there's definitely no Z or Z sound at the beginning of that word. It's soup with an S. Soup. And bring that oo up a little bit. So soup. And our fourth word is one. Do you see this woman right here? That is Magda Gessler. She did a kitchen revolution right here in this restaurant and made it so good and so tasty and is doing very well despite everything. And Magda Gessler, there, there are three things here I want to talk about. Say, said, and says. Very often my students will say say, they say that properly, and they said said for the past tense, and they'll say says. And that's wrong, absolutely not. I say, I said something yesterday, and he says it's going to be wonderful. Magda Gessler says this restaurant is worth trying. So again, go spot a check it out when you're in Częstochowa. For our fifth word today, I'm standing in front of Częstochowa's newest kind of contraption here. This is the solar powered parking sticker, parking ticket machine. It costs about three zloty to park in Częstochowa or about 75 cents. If you do not put one of those stickers on your car, the price can be hefty. They don't tow your car away. That's the good news though. Anyway, our word today is ticket. I cannot tell you how many times. One of my pet peeve words is ticket. When I hear one way ticket, ticket. There's no such word as a ticket. It's a ticket. Like in Polish people, ya, ticket. Never ticket. So get your parking ticket so you don't get a ticket. 
All right for our six word today. A little bit of an unfortunate adventure with me. I used to live on Folsha Street. This is Folsha Street, and 20 years ago, this was a really shady street. It had a lot of shady figures walking up and down it. It's much safer now. And uh, I had a company car, a van, a Renault van, and I had no air conditioning, no radio, no nothing. I wanted to listen to music. So I went to the local store. I bought a boom box for about $25, and I played my favorite cassettes, battery-powered boom box. And I would leave that boom box in the back seat. And my friend told me one day, never leave anything of value, even $25 boombox. Don't leave anything in plain view. I didn't believe him. I thought, nobody's going to take it. Woke up the next morning to go to work. My glass had been broken out. The boombox was gone. I encountered my first and only thief in this country. And that's our word. One thief. Make sure that TH sound is pronounced. I hear all the time, teeth, teeth. And plural, thieves. Stress out the E sound, thieves. One thief, many thieves. Don't leave your boombox in the car anywhere in the world. For word number seven today, I'm at Chenstohova's main train station. This train station will always be synonymous with that first trip down to the Tatra Mountains. I love my Zakopane. I love going down to the Tatras. It's a beautiful, beautiful time down there. And the word is mountain. I hear this one, my students always pronounce it mountain, mountain. So that last, that suffix there, that tain, needs to be more of a tin mountain mountains we took the train to the mountains from chestovas train station all right once again i'm in a wonderful place here in chestova just at the first and second avenues where they intersect is the Renechek. this is a long long corridor of little shops and stalls selling mostly fresh fruits and vegetables you can get meat here there's a butcher shop in there flowers pretty much everything you need is in this little marketplace area and I love going through there, getting fresh Polish garlic, fresh tomatoes, especially right now, spring, summertime, a wonderful, wonderful place. And the word is vegetable. This one's a little bit like comfortable. A lot of my students pronounce it vegetable, vegetables. I eat my fruits and vegetables. Way too many syllables there. Again, this one's three syllables like comfortable, vegetable, vegetable, or in the plural sense, vegetables, not vegetable, but vegetable. For our ninth word today, if you didn't know it already, this country, Poland, has so many beautiful cities. I particularly like Częstochowa. I like the way it's laid out. One main avenue, which is really kind of divided into three avenues, really easy to navigate, a great place for a family. And finally, local authorities are focusing on the first avenue, which is the old Rynek, the old market square. You know, other cities have beautiful old towns, old market squares, but ours is kind of lagging behind. But that's changing. You see new developments everywhere, a nice new modern cafe behind me, some kind of sculptures in the air. I'm not even quite sure what those are, but just something to bring life to the city. And they're focusing here. They're focusing money on this area, and that's our word. I hear it mispronounced so often as focus or focus or simply focus. It's just focus, focus, okay? More of an O in there, not focus, but focus. For our 10th word today, if you have ever wondered what a courthouse looks like, a Polish courthouse for a city with a population of about 230,000, this is it. It's not very big, but I guess it's not very small. It's just right. Yours truly has been in that building many times, of course, for non-criminal related issues. So many things happen in that courtroom, in this building. But I'm fortunate to say, I'm blessed to say that I've taught lawyers and judges over the years who work right here. And that's actually our word, lawyer. For some reason it comes out as liar when Poles say it, my students at least. But not a lawyer, lawyer, some strange odd sound like that, but just lawyer, lawyer. Well, just off to my right side here is a cathedral, a large cathedral. The video doesn't do it justice. It's called the Cathedral Basilica of the Holy Family. And it was opened back in 1927. I had the opportunity to listen to a children's choir singing in this cathedral and it was wow. Just the natural sound inside of it, just beautiful. The word is choir. When Polish people see that, my students see the word choir, it, almost always they mess that one up. I'm impressed when they can pronounce it correctly. So I've heard chor or cholir or holier. I've seen all kinds of weird things, but a children singing choir is pronounced choir, choir. 
For our final and 12th word today, I am at Politechnika Częstochowska or the Częstochowa University of Technology. And this school is dear to my heart. A lot of good students came through here. I teach a lot of them at the companies. When they graduate here, they go into companies like ZF or TRW in the past. So near and dear to my heart, this university. Education, good educators here. I hear the word pronounced all the time, education. Edu, edu, and it's a edu, education. So make that you a full you, education. When you say it fast, it almost has a j sound to it. So good education at the Polytechnica Częstochowska, the Częstochowa University of Technology. Okay, so thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked the episode. You know, I did a very similar one in Houston, Texas about two years ago when I was there. I will put a link in the description below so you can check that one out if you haven't yet. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm telling you the truth, it would be wonderful to have you. Just click the button right there on my Base English logo so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time.